What's going on, Bia Familia? How are you guys doing today? So guys, you guys are gonna be coming along with me today, cooking in the kitchen with me. So today we're gonna be making fag cannoli soup. So basically, <clears throat> this soup is basically, me and my husband went to out to eat one day and uh, we decided to go to Olive Garden and he had a soup that i really liked and i want to try it at home so when i tasted it for the first time i really liked it so i told the waitress like what is the what is this soup called and um she gave me the name and everything for the soup and everything and um i looked up the recipe and basically i found the recipe so basically we're going to be making this today so um once i get all my ingredients together i'll pick up the camera and i will get started and tell you what we need all right, Bia Familia, so I got all my ingredients together. So basically what we're gonna need for this soup is basically this. We're gonna need olive oil. I can get the top back on it. Salt, diced tomatoes, dark kitty beans, tomato sauce, carrots. We're going to need Great Northern beans garlic, one large onion, chicken broth, the noodles right here, um, celery, pepper, thyme leaves, oregano, basil, last but not least, this more i don't even know how you say that but this is what we need as well and you also need ground beef for this recipe as well so i got two different types i got one that was like leaner like less fat and then this one has more fat at the top so once i get all my ingredients situated and everything we're gonna get cooking all right bia familia so basically what i did why like, i was off so basically i chopped up everything so i chopped up three cloves of garlic, three celery sticks, two carrots, and one large onion. So basically right now I'm about to um, make my ground beef and then once this is cooked, then you drain the excess fat, the oil, whatever the, um, the meat brings out. You drain that, once you drain that, then in a large pan you're gonna basically put one teaspoon of olive oil in that pan and then you're gonna add all your veggies that's over there and then you're gonna saute for four minutes. So once this step is complete, I'll um, get back on here and I'll show you what is the next step. All right guys, so about 10 minutes later, this is what the ground beef will look like. And you see at the bottom, it has like extra oil and stuff like that. So basically what you do is you have to drain that fully before you can add it to the big pot. So basically what I'm gonna do is basically drain this out and then in the big pot, I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil and then all my veggies and garlic into that pot. And then once I drain all this, then I'll add the ground beef to the pot and then I'll add everything else together. So once you drain this fully, but this is how it looks when it's done. Um, it's brown, no pink. Um, so basically you have to have this all brown. Um, so it takes like about five minutes to 10 depending on how high your heat is and things like that. So basically, um, I'm gonna drain this and then I will show you the next step. All right guys, so basically we're gonna add one tablespoon of olive oil. Um, I, had my, I had my pot preheating for about five minutes um, to make sure it gets like a good a sear on the vegetables and stuff like that so i'm going to add all my veggies that are right here so like i said again i have three celeries one large onion two carrots and garlic so we're gonna add this to the pan right now and we're gonna have these saute for about four minutes. I'm gonna 
get it all in there, guys. I'm trying to get it all in there. just four minutes and then because these are a little hard right now so basically it's just um basically we're just um softening up the the veggies because you know they're still a little hard so sauteing them is making them basically get a little a little bit softer um and just exploding all their flavors and stuff like that all together so that's why we saute vegetables first So my veggies have been cooking about four minutes um, in the pan. So now we're gonna add our three tomato sauce, well, two tomato sauces and one diced tomatoes into the pot. So this is what you're gonna use. Diced tomatoes, we're gonna add in there. And this is about 12, 12 ounces. And we're gonna add this tomato sauce. You need 15 ounces of these. Okay. Now that I have that in there, now the ground beef that I had sitting over here, let it cool for about three minutes. We're gonna add that in there. So, um, okay guys, so I added my ground beef to here. Now we're going to mix all this together. Make sure it's mixed all the way through. Make sure you get everything mixed up together. This is looking so good. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait to try it. And guys, this is my first time making this. Um, I usually make soup like a lot. Not, I don't make soup a lot, but usually when I do make soup, it's mostly during the winter times. Um, when it's cold and stuff like that. So... I try to to add like I try to do different things as far as like cooking wise. It looks so good, guys. Okay, guys. So this this is all mixed in. Now we're gonna add our beans, which is the northern. Which is dark kidney beans. You add the whole thing. Add the whole thing. Okay. And then now since I added that, we're going to stir this together. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this reduce for 10 minutes. And then once the 10 minutes is up, I'm going to come back and then I'm going to add the seasonings to it. Um, and then, yeah, once 10 minutes comes, then I'll pick up the camera and, and I'll add the seasonings. Okay, guys, so basically during the break, um, I forgot one step. Um, I forgot to add salt and pepper to the pot. So basically, you just add one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of pepper, and then I've added... One teaspoon, one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of basil leaves, one teaspoon of thyme, and one teaspoon of this one. Okay, so I've added those as you can see in the pot right now. I'm going to stir it up and get all those flavors and stuff in there. Oh my god, guys, this looks so good. This looks so good. 
um so guys basically <clears throat> um let me know if you want me to do more cooking videos for you guys um um, let me know what kind of recipes that you guys want me to do, and I'll look it up and I'll cook it on camera um, so I can teach you how to make it. Or let me know what you guys want to see as far as cooking videos go. So. Okay. That looks like a lot of seasoning, but it's not. So, um, the next step is basically you have to add the tallini which is this this is what it looks like into this and then once you add this to that you will let it simmer for another 10 minutes that looks so good guys it smells amazing in here it smells really good in here but yeah guys give me some recipes that I can try um, I've been looking up different recipes to try as far as like, all in there because they're gonna you gotta remember pasta grows pasta really grows so this is all gonna grow and stuff like that so we're basically gonna reduce this once it simmers and all that stuff so so guys, so this is what the soup looks like. Once it's done, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, and we'll taste it. All right guys, so basically this is what it looks like when it's done. So we're going to try it. So guys, we are done and I would like to taste, taste test it on camera to see how I did. So here we go. Get that. Yeah. Alright, let's try this, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So guys, that is delicious. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> so basically, I want to thank you guys for being with me today, cooking with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this cooking video today. Um, if you guys have any recommendations on what other cooking videos you would like to see, you would like me to bring more cooking videos to the channel, let me know. And um, let me know what recipes you guys want to see. But I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.